So today I'm talking about a P0136 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0136 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit, bank one, sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called oxygen sensors and they're located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. But when you get this P0136 code, the computer's seen a problem with one of these sensors, mainly with the bank one sensor two O2 sensor. And so it's going to, have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine is going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google what the number one cylinder on your engine is, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And that's the side of the engine that the computer's seen a problem with. If you happen to have a four cylinder engine, then there's only going to be one bank. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0136 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that bank one sensor two O2 sensor just failed. It just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. I made some videos on this. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. Sensor two is going to be the second sensor going down on the bank one side of the engine. It'll be located either after the catalytic converter or right on it. It's also called the downstream O2 sensor. The first one's called the upstream and the second one's called the downstream. But the first thing that could cause this is that that bank one sensor two O2 sensor has gone bad. And the next thing it causes is that there's some kind of wiring issue going to the sensor. There's like an open, there's a short, there's a blown fuse, something along these lines. And so if you have a multimeter, you can go and test that circuit and check to see and be sure that it's good. If you do go to check the wiring, you will need to get a wiring schematic for your particular vehicle since there will be differences. So be sure to get a wiring schematic or wiring diagram for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But usually what's going on with these sensors is you're going to have two parts to them. You're going to have the oxygen sensor side that's reading how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion and that's going to be reporting information right back to the computer and then there's also heater elements built into these sensors and basically these sensors can't get a good reading until they warm up and so that the computer doesn't have to wait for the whole engine to warm up and the sensors to warm up these have these heater elements inside of them that help everything warm up quicker and once it warms up the oxygen sensor side is going to be able to get readings much quicker and report information back to the computer and help everything go into what's called a closed loop and so there's usually two parts to these sensors. There can also be a fuse or a relay. Again, it's going to vary. You will need to do some research on your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But for example, right here, this says AF heater. This is the fuse for that heater element built into that sensor. And in this case, there's also a relay right here, AF heater. That's also a part of that O2 sensor heater element. And so just keep in mind that these can be on a fuse and a relay. But the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0136 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.